Hello and welcome to Soul Conversations. I'm Kerry Waring and today I'm chatting with Scott Podmore, author and journalist, and his new book, Conversations with Mediums, is out, available now. And being that mediumship is a huge passion of mine, I couldn't wait to have a chat with Scott about his book and, um, you know, get the lowdown on all his conversations with all these world famous mediums. So welcome, Scott. Hello, Kerry. Thanks very much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Um, first of all, let's just define a little bit about, for the purpose of the book, what, what did mediumship mean to you in, with the book? Well, look, it started uh, pretty much after I'd finished the Jimmy Barnes book. That was the last big project that I worked on. Um, which was like a scrapbook of his life. And that consumed me for about six or seven months. The process of that, I'd had a little break. And then while I was working at the Herald Sun with News Limited, I was given the opportunity to interview Lisa Williams, uh, obviously a world-famous medium from the UK. And uh, we ran a story and the phone just about exploded the, the next day and the, my email inbox was overflowing with all this interest. So, look, it's always been, ever since I was a child, I've always been interested in all sorts of things otherworldly, whether it's, you know, UFOs, ghost stories. And, and so it, I thought, look, this the reaction that we received to that, I thought, look, this is a great opportunity to explore it a bit more. And uh, and interview some fascinating people, obviously, and and in the process, you know, help me find my own truths and faith. Okay, so and we'll talk more about that in a minute. So essentially, conversations with medium is um, a collection of um, interviews and conversations that you had um, with right. medium mediums all over the world and you've got some of the really um the names that we know such as you know john edward and lisa williams and one of my favorites tony stockwell yes yeah he was great yeah yes. look there are there I, i've managed to it wasn't easy well i shouldn't say it wasn't easy there was uh, i said about basically in the end i'd um denied about the process for it and how i should tackle it um, at one point I was thinking, do I offer a really balanced uh, argument for and against? Um, and that just wasn't seeming, just wasn't working. There was a bit of arrogance involved there and I didn't like the way it was heading. So in the end, I just thought I'd take the approach um, of providing a forum for these mediums uh, from all different types of, uh, of backgrounds, different types of mediumship. So I wanted the diversity there. But I also wanted mediums who uh, appealed to different socioeconomic groups um, and then uh, provide them with a platform, give them the benefit of the doubt of what they're doing uh, and then ask a series of consistent questions, I guess, just to see whether we could find some consistencies or inconsistencies in, in some cases. And what happened was just an amazing adventure, obviously, um, because I covered things like mental mediumship, trance, seances, and old-fashioned physical mediumship, uh, EVP, electronic voice phenomena. So there was quite a, a fair bit of investigation and, and some really good conversations. I guess because I, I approached it in uh, that sort of honest, uh, open way, um, I seem to get the respect and, and willingness um, from all the mediums. So, uh, yeah, I found my way in the door to a few of the trickier ones too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, Because um, I know, like, having um, my own magazine, In Spirit magazine, I know how persistent I needed to be to get an email question and answer with John Edward, and that took me, like, three years, you know. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. And he... <sighs> Uh, with all due respect to the mediums, he was John was the one I was really most interested in in getting time with, yeah. and I lucked in to a certain degree uh, in that he was in Melbourne doing a show, and I did a story on him for the newspaper as well. Oh. And so I got to sit with him. It was only a twenty minute interview, and then uh, he didn't. He actually said no to begin with for my book project, yeah. uh, 
but I pestered him a little bit, uh, not in a stalking sort of way, oh, but I, yeah. uh, I managed, he was back in Melbourne some time later, almost a year later, and we managed to uh, sit down. He gave me the time. Uh, I thought it was going to be a quick coffee, but it ended up being about two and a half hours um, in a Crown Cafe in Melbourne, yeah, yeah. solving the world's problems. And at the end of the um, the conversation, uh, we're talking about everything, mind you, our kids, because we've got a lot in common as far as where we are in our stage of life and family. Mm-hmm. And by the end of it, he said, "Oh, by the way, I'm yeah, I'm letting you put me in the book." <laughs> and I gave him a big hug, and I was wrapped. Yeah, so, and and you, you know, I think it just comes. You know, s- someone like John and the position that he's in and everything that he's um, done for mediumship, you yeah. know, he's very cautious about where he aligns his name, you know. So, so that's, that's exactly it. He, he doesn't, he doesn't yeah. go in other books. And he, yeah, exactly. So you can totally understand where he's coming from. Totally. And it's, it's important to say too, all the chapters in this book, they're, Look, in one way, they're all in one place, but, you know, there are differing opinions. And I know when the when the guys actually go to read the book and they'll disagree with some other mediums within, um, just on certain topics, whether it's reincarnation or yeah. So it's, you know, that's I understand that. And, John, that's a big thing for him. He explained that to me. Um, and I think it was just about Ernie's trust. Absolutely. Um, Sounds like it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And, and, you know, I was happy to show in the chapter and that type of thing. And, yeah. yeah. And, and that's great that you're, um, you know, showcasing the different belief systems, you know, because at the end of the day that's what it is. You know, we're, as much as we're, we're all connecting to spirit and we're all um, providing um, consultation services and, information from the spirit world we all do it with different belief systems so no that's right no i get and the thing i like about it i I guess out of this and you know the first question a lot of people ask me is do you believe it and um you know i've obviously come at it as a mainstream journalist i'm a christian man but i'm obviously more spiritually inclined because of the a lot to do with this experience as well, it's just opened opened my world up, and like I said earlier, in finding my own truth, and we're all looking for our, our truth and faith, and um, you know, I, and the good thing about it is I like um, the philosophies; it's all positive. Yeah. Um, and you know, the, the thing is, some will resonate for some people. Um, it's what works for you, really, isn't it? At the end yeah. of the day, everyone's entitled to their own belief systems, and I'm certainly not beating the drum about it. I'm just presenting some really interesting uh, philosophies and, you know, in some cases some profound wisdom and, and great guidance for people if, if they're looking for a bit of healing or, or they're grieving. Um, yeah, Ab- they, uh, absolutely. And I did want to ask you, you know, what, what kind of things, um, just a little bit more specifically, did you take from the journey, you know, from going through it and you've said finding your own truth and, you know, your own faith and share some of that truth well, with so us. Look, if anything, the biggest thing I could take away from it was was the fact that we sort of roll on in life and we're handed all these all this conditioning and, you know, this is how we live and this is how we should live and, you know, you should believe this and you shouldn't believe that. If anything, it, it forced you to open your mind a bit and, and have an awareness, I guess, um, and, and consider what's possible. Um, I certainly, uh, you know, I think I made the point in the book about once upon a time we thought the world was uh, flat. Yeah. Uh, you know, the idea of you and I doing this right now, they would have, you know, stoned us to death if we were telling people we're going to be on screens talking to each other, you know, yeah. 100 years ago. Um, and yeah, history sort of proves that we can't be arrogant and, and pig-headed and, and I guess narrow-minded. Uh, and I certainly believe now science uh, there's a bridge being built between science and spirituality. Uh, there's science is certainly paying a lot more attention to uh, all sorts of things, whether it's consciousness near-death experiences, out-of-body, you know, it's it's all been studied, investigated now. And yeah, absolutely. That's, you know, Kerry, that's the power of meditation. That's that's a big one. Acupuncture. All these, all these alternative 
you know, well, it's not alternative anymore, is it? This is a thing. And you see so many people open to, uh, to talking and discussing about it, discussing this, this subject matter. Yeah, absolutely. Like science, is, it, is, it is part of science these days, you know, the fact that there is, that consciousness exists. Well, that's it. And, and it's a case of, you know, they're studying, really, they're starting to pay attention to the physics of the soul, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's exciting, really. And, yeah, I, the, I guess the book and, and the journey I took, it was such a diverse range of experience. There's very, you know, quite a few personal things in there too, which uh, it makes for juicy reading, whether you're a believer or not. It's, um, I've got some friends who are total, you know, obviously very sceptical. Yep. Um, one, friend, uh, one friend actually said to me, uh, Potty, which is my nickname, he said, I think it's all frog shit. Sorry, swearing on your program. <laughs> he said, that's what I think, but I can't wait to read it yeah. and works it out. So, you know, there's a curiosity there. And, and I guess getting back to your original question, if there's anything I can take away from it is to have a bit more of an open mind and, and sometimes give people the benefit of the doubt. You know, as you know, Kerry, as well, there, there's, there are obviously a, a lot of frauds yep. in the industry. But, you know, there are a lot of frauds everywhere, whether it's uh, science, whether it's, you know, the legal profession, journalism, um, there, there are frauds everywhere. So it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, conditioning can get in the way at times. I know I was certainly brought up uh, well, but, you know, those little things like what I, this was sort of poppycock, you know, yeah. you don't go near it. But you get to a point where, you know, for whatever reason, you dip your uh, you dip your toe in the water, and sometimes it gets uh, really fascinating. So you dig a bit deeper, and yeah, I, it was a really enjoyable project. That's for sure. Oh, good. And because I remember, like when we spoke, when you were writing the book, and um, you know, doing interviews and stuff like that, you were planning um, that there was going to be a second book. Well, that's. Of- yeah, well, this is right because I did. I set out. I thought, look, I really need to be quite uh, broad um, with with who I interview and and just see what sort of mix I get. Yep. So I ended up doing about thirty interviews, and obviously one was with you, and it was fantastic. And in the end, it was it came down to just balancing what type of medium I had, um, and when there were a couple of really similar ones. Yep. It was a case I couldn't double up, and unfortunately, you were one that doubled up. But you know, there's hopefully another book, and yeah, the, demand, yeah. the demand for this one so far suggests that I, I probably will be bringing out another one. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. And and I I believe that um, mediumship itself is going, and in the next couple of years, is actually going to go through an evolution. Right. Yeah. You know, um, well, and it will be. We'll see different forms of it coming through. Yeah, look, yeah, absolutely. And I've heard that um, from some of the other mediums as well. It's, you know, it's certainly, it is, because it is becoming such a, a popular thing and it's, you know, there's a real infiltration, I think, going on. Um, some good, not some not so good. <laughs> well, this is the thing and with that come and several mediums, I think you even did as well, pointed out the fact that a lot of people you know, most of us have had some sort of experience, whether it be minor or, you know, we see something move and, or, or we have a dream, um, we meditate and have an experience. But what I guess what happens is a lot of people, the minute something like that happens, they think that suddenly they have to be a medium. And it's not always the case. It might be just a case that they're tapping into their own truth or whatever they want to call it. And yeah. it's exploring that a bit more and, and keeping it a personal thing. But some people, like yourself, it's obviously a calling. And, you know, that's, I think people work it out, for, I think, reasonably quickly. I might be wrong, you tell me, but work it out whether it is a calling. And, um, you know, there's, I certainly, all the people I've interviewed, or the, certainly the ones in the book and people like you, um, it's quite an obvious fit. And, and it's, it seems to me very genuine. So, yeah, it's a case of, yeah, it might just straighten up a little. I don't know. But a new forms of, yeah, who knows? I mean, it really is an exciting 
exciting idea, especially when you um, – some of the mediums, like um, Elizabeth Barron uh, from New York, who's a trance medium who channels um, St. Catherine. Goodness, I do have to read that book again. <laughs> um, a 14th century nun. Uh, she actually died recently, which was a shame. But, yeah, um, but yeah, she, uh, yeah, she pointed out that, you know, it's, it's not for everyone. But um, you can certainly, um, it can, yeah, it can be a personal thing for people um, uh, to, yeah, develop their own. Yeah, absolutely. And that's what I believe. I believe that the ability is there for everyone for their own personal truth. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and for their yeah. own journey. But not everyone is meant to be um, professional or doing it as their work, you know. No, that's right. Because we all have our own unique soul purpose, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Yeah, so um, what message, you know, for someone that reads the book, what message would you like the reader to take away from reading the book? Look, I guess if anything, I just, you know, we all, I guess it's death is that big mysterious word, isn't it? We, we don't understand it. We really don't. Um, and it hurts. Uh, and I, the way I look at it, some of the information in here, maybe not all, it might have only be one paragraph somewhere that resonates for a person. And, you know, if they get something out of that, well, that's rewarding for me. Um, I like to think it's a smorgasbord of, of quite profound uh, advice and, and um, theories throughout. Um, and I hope people can take something away from those. Uh, and there's also some, you know, really interesting stuff as well where it's it's like a uh, fly-on-the-wall sort of account of, of these experiences I've had with all the mediums from all over the world. Um, but, yeah, there's uh, – I just hope some, you know, if whoever reads the book, they can have a little takeaway for themselves might be something they see as a good idea for a gift to for a mum or a friend who's uh, either grieving or who's curious about it. Yeah. Um, the whole philosophy of mediumship and, and what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess on behalf of people, I, I like to think of in a very straightforward way, I've jumped in there and asked some really pertinent questions and got some really interesting answers. So. Yeah, and, and that's a, that's a great uh it, you know, it's going to be a great resource, like you just tapped into. You know, for the for the person that just wants to know a little bit about mediumship, has perhaps never seen a medium. Yeah. Um, and because for them, it's such a big step. I've got quite a few clients that have, when they first come to me, have never ever seen another medium, and um, once they have that good experience, they're not going to go out and seek others because. You know, it's not part of their everyday life. It's yeah, sure. You know, and they're doing it for their grief, and you know, yeah. so it's going to be a great resource for someone that sort of is interested, has lost someone, and yeah. and is really wary about delving into the community and the industry to find a good medium. So there's going to be stuff in there that will help them have what to look for. You know. No, absolutely. And look, it's not all, uh, what's the word? It's not all fluffy. I mean, I have actually, I've asked some, pro throughout I've asked some probing questions. I've, I've asked, look, how do you find, you know, how do, how do you pick a fraud? Yeah, um, yeah. You know, and they do, they give me some really solid answers on that. And I, you know, I've, I've asked questions, some of the stickier um, stuff like suicide and, and you know, um, asking about how a baby represents as a soul. You know, it's something I couldn't get my head around when I think about it too long. Um, so, you know, yeah, And but but that aspect of it, I asked them about the sceptics and do they have a right and, um, to go as far as they do or be sceptical. And most of them say, yes, bring on the sceptics because they keep everyone on their toes and keep it honest yeah, um, yeah. to a degree. Yep. And, um, yeah, and they give some really good practical information about finding a, a genuine medium or, or picking a fraudulent medium. So, yeah, there's, it's, it's not, yeah, it's not this happy flow all the way through. It does get 
that moves in different directions, just some really interesting dialogue that goes on, I guess. Yeah, great. That's great stuff. So, you know, the really big question, is are you sending a copy to Jimmy Barnes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'd better send one to him. I told him, I saw him the other day, actually, and he played at a day on the green here in Melbourne, which was not far from me, so... Yeah gave me a, a good chance to pop out there and say hello to him and Jane. Um, I spent more time with his new grandchildren than him. Okay, he's, okay. Yeah, he's a big doting granddad. But, yeah, I've, I've got one. In, I will have one in the post for him. Well, do you know he does have an interest? Because I can remember him um, appearing on TV with Gordon Smith. Well, he actually, in his book that I put together, there's a chapter intro from Deepak Chopra. So, there you go. So. Yeah. He's look. He's a Buddhist, uh, Jimmy. Um, no, I haven't. You know, I did do a chapter, a little bit about that. I didn't want to pry too much, but yeah, he. Uh, there was a bit of a joke always with Deepak about. I think Deepak said to him one day when he brought him out on stage, he said, "This guy's gone from spirits to spirits." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, he'll read it. He's too busy, I think. He's he's rocking all over the place at the moment. So oh, good on him. Yeah. Um, so, I know. So Scott, I know you've got a copy of the book there on your desk. So yes. if you want to hold it up for everyone to see, and where can people get a copy? Well, it's um, it's it's ready to drop now. I think it's uh, it was going to be. Well, it's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble pretty well online. You search for it. Uh, Conversations with mediums and my name. Uh, you'll find it, uh, and it's available as an ebook. Uh, for around the eight or nine dollar mark, uh, and also as a soft cover that you can get in the post within about ten days as well. But I think it's going into bookstores throughout Australia um, next week, or next week or the week after. So you can pretty much walk into any store, and and if they haven't got it, you can they'll certainly get it in. Otherwise, you get it from my website when it's up, and I'll send you a signed copy. If you're interested, uh, that, and that'll be conversationswithmediums.com. Okay. Well, um, thanks for sharing with us today, and um, you know, I think you've you've got a great book there, and I myself am really, really looking forward to to getting into it. Yes. Look, thank you very much. I really appreciate you uh, you getting me on board here today. It's been great to chat to you. Oh, and just quickly, Facebook page too, if people are interested. Sure. I'm pro yeah, okay. I'm providing. Uh, there's an official Facebook page for it, and I'm providing little teasers and little updates and quotes and that type of thing through there. So yeah, and if people want to get in contact with you, um, is it right now that's probably the best place. Yeah, I think so. I think if they go and like the page, I'm, I'm popping on there regularly and answering questions. And, yeah, it's just facebook.com slash conversations with mediums. So it's pretty simple. But thank you very much for, for having me. I've really enjoyed it. No problem. Congratulations again because it's a big effort, you know, you know, a big effort putting a book together and getting it published. So um, well done. Thank you very much.